tag on to the end of the, of the previous question. Um, so I, I kind of um, came here about three years ago. I'm originally from the UK and I taught at the University of College Dublin for eight years where I was tenured. Um, and just as a kind of reflection and a sort of modest international sort of perspective on this question, uh, I guess my overriding sort of um, observation is just the level, and I would just use this term, I realize it's a little maybe it rubs people up the wrong way, but the sheer level of casualization in the education system here, and what I mean by that is simply part-time people paid uh, under the going rates, uh, no job security, uh, very few benefits attached to that. I came from a job in Ireland which paid me basically three or four times the amount that I would get here for teaching four or five courses a term as a casual teacher. So, you know, it seems to me to talk about quality of education, and I realize it seems like, you know, you're just pleading for your own side of the equation, but I think, um, you know, those levels of job insecurity and lack of remuneration are just really catastrophic. That's my observation based on where I came from. And I realize as an outsider, it's always, you know, well, I'm not saying everything was great over in Ireland, but, um, you know, from what I have sort of experienced here in the last few years, um, I think unless something is done to fix that part of the equation, I think all other conversations about quality are fairly moot, to be quite frank. But it's just, you know, I wanted to throw something in terms of my own experience. So if, I could just, uh, yeah, if I could just um, piggyback on that. You know, Melody pointed out that, you know, we have many um, instructors who are working part-time um, to supplement their, their full-time work bring their expertise from areas, and, and they, I, I agree completely that um, they bring a lot to, uh, to the university, to the academy. Um, the, the real problem is with those, um, those faculty who are teaching in the, you know, what we might consider the core areas. And if you look at it around the country, the biggest problem, where you, where you find the greatest use of casual, part-time uh, faculty, is in those who are teaching in remedial areas. You know, we have a real crisis, I'm sure you all know, of remedial education in this, in this country. We, we have students who are uh, coming to college not having the skills, you know, to succeed in college. Uh, at least half of the students who come to the community college fall into that, that category. Um, and then, you know, I think the same thing is, is true throughout higher education. Uh, of that number, probably 80% are being taught by part-time faculty. Now, these are the students who I would argue, you know, because they're most at risk of failure, and they do fail. I mean, the, the success rates among remedial students are atrocious. Um, and yet, 80% of their teachers are individuals who cannot give them uh, the out-of-class kind of support, the extra help, who are running from job to job to job. Um, it, you know, is it any wonder that we have a crisis? But it's, you know, it's, a, it, you know, it's being done for affordab affordability reasons. Uh, because you know, often those students, you know, if they're ESL students, for example, they may not be paying tuition at all. Uh, and we've, we're not able to, as a state, uh, come up with the funding to make sure that their instructors are paid even a living wage. It's a real challenge. Well, I just have to say, salary is a subject to bargaining. And I'm glad to see Burke Jacobson here from AFT and Phil Lush from AAUP. And they are both in the midst of negotiating the salary with their union, with, with the administration. So, it's not something I can speak to at the moment because we're in the midst of negotiations. But I think it is fair to say that institutions wish to support their faculty well. And I don't think that that's something I can, um, certainly we all want to support the faculty who are teaching our students. Um, but beyond that, I can't comment. At this time. And let me say this is not a PSU problem. This is a national problem. It's not even just an Oregon problem, it's a national problem. 
But if we're going to solve this problem, it has to be done state by state and, and ultimately institution by institution. Did, did you want to make a comment in the back? You know, I, I, I just wanted to say it's, it's comfortably comfortable to think about all of the part time faculty having other jobs uh, that, and that they're not relying on what they make here to support a family. But many people are, I hear from members that they are. And when you have part time people teaching uh, something like 40% of the classes that are, that are offered here, and um, you know, relying on, on them to bring in more students and attempt to deliver a quality education to those students. It, you know, it seems like there are a lot of assumptions being made about those people and um, their ability to keep delivering under extremely difficult circumstances where uh, not only are they paid little, but the class sizes are going up and up. <coughs> and those people don't have all of the resources available to them that the <coughs> faculty have here. I just wanted to say that that's one of the reasons why we formed CORE, was to try to establish a group which doesn't really exist at this point that treats the students' interests really seriously. It says we can't keep funding all of this on the backs of students. We're mortgaging their future. We can't possibly continue doing this. It's not sustainable. Along with full-time faculty and along with part-time faculty. Because as it is, we have all of these different separate <laughs> groups. But most of what we're dealing with is we're, we're looking at the same issues, and I think to really address the issues of quality, higher education, we need to find a venue where these different groups can, can work together. So I just really wanted to thank all of you for coming and, and for, for participating in, in this discussion. This is exactly the kind of coming together that we were hoping for with the group. So it is 5 o'clock, so with that, um, if you can help me...